So what is going on everybody and uh, welcome to your 34th annual application development tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna real quick show you how to fix that uh, title text overlay and uh, make it a bit nicer in look. So we have a lot to do so let's get started. So I'm gonna say that this dot news description small remember this variable which we created is news description but it's just a part of news description so let's just say i want to get about 50 characters for now from this news description and uh, what i'm gonna do next is uh, i'm gonna go to main activity and right here i'm gonna say instead of this description dot set text news description small actually so it sets the text to small actually the smaller one means that it's kind of restricted okay so yeah so let's just see how this looks like for now and uh, while it's running let's take a look in item.text xml actually well uh, let us just run at least first so you can see right now it's pretty boring and it's still actually overlapping to a lot and a lot of extent and you can see that the title is actually overlapping it as well so what we can do for the title at least is actually I can say I can code it something like that that it would just kind of overflow if it's uh, uh, overflow in the sense that it would just show some dots what we call as ellipse I guess I don't know how you pronounce that whatever way you like so I'm gonna say this is Android scroll horizontally to be true so that it just scrolls horizontally when it overflows and when it overflows I want its maximum lines to be one right and then Android ellipse size equals to be end right so this does the magic and if you see now and hopefully it should work all right so we always have such sort of problems and uh, what is it now well no nothing real so let me just launch the app again and see okay so it looks like it worked right but the text and the title are still kinda on each other so here I can say that this is margin actually Android margin bottom to be 10 dp and 15 actually let's just say and uh, try it out again and it should probably load why isn't loading it oh okay so it is actually performing a timeout error okay I get it now why this is happening is that Android by default what it does is that it would time your volley this request for five seconds right if in five seconds the server responds then uh, the code would proceed otherwise it would just generate a timeout request error and that is what's happening with our code and the reason is that my PHP script is kind of scraping the data down a lot of so it just takes a bunch of seconds to work and it might be due to my internet problems as well right now so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna create a retry policy for my request right so my object is uh, my request same as this one and I'm gonna say set retry policy new default and Android studio kind of does most of the work for me and the, for the first argument I'm gonna define a new timeout so I'm gonna say that uh, uh, let's just say this is 
thousand once ten hundred thousand ten thousand so this is this time is in milliseconds right so it would just time out after 10 seconds the default is five i guess so just to set up the other two as uh, the default ones so these are the maximum retries and this back off mult whatever does that mean i never use this one so i just try i just add this uh, timeout value and the maximum retries why just code it yourself when you have the default values available and all three are integer by the way if you're wondering so we are all set to rock and roll and see if our code works uh, well well okay so did it work or not or we should get a timeout somewhere about now if it if it is timed out actually well that is strange and uh, I'll run it again okay so that is some weird behavior we've got there well anyways for now let's just focus on code so my what we did last I actually forgot all right so we put a margin bottom of 15 dp so it doesn't look like it's worked a lot so we need to reduce this spacing this line spacing it's way too much so let's just say this is Android line spacing extra and let's just give it a value of minus um, four or three dps and uh, run it again and again it's gonna show us blank news feed and then I'm gonna close it and it's kind of boring to perform so oh well it worked this time well this is sort of unstable api you can say okay so looks much better but uh, what we can do as more is that we could just say that my heading text is android textile not alignment bro textile as bold and uh, that should be pretty much it I guess do we need anything else well I guess that should be it pretty much so let's just take a look finally on our app and uh, well well that is sick okay so looks like there's some sort of problem with API so what I'm gonna do is actually just let me just copy this thing right there this whole thing go to notepad right and let me just save this with this removed and say that this is uh, news.json and uh, uh, yeah okay so what I'm gonna do instead of uh, my PHP script now I'm gonna say this is news.json right so this is a, now a static file so this should be a lot easier to access and you can see now it pretty much works good but uh, right now you can see that it pretty much just bluntly cuts it off the text so that kind of doesn't look very nice and uh, the title and description are a little bit touching as well each other so let's just modify our code a little bit more and uh, say that uh, my heading is uh, actually where is it oh wrong file my heading is not actually like that android text size is uh, let's just say 15 or 25 or 20 maybe okay so 20 dps and uh, what we have next 
is that I want to say in my news item that this one is concatenated with three dots like actually just change that to string literal like that and uh, see if it works or not so actually the font size is way too big again uh, actually this should be SP and uh, this should be 18 let's just try that out <clears throat> And uh, maybe we could just reduce it to 16. Okay, it looks cool now. Right, so pretty much all of the stuff is done, but images left, right? So, yes, we need images because they make our application cool. And uh, let me just see if there's some sort of problem with my net. Okay, yeah, images are loading fine so there's no sort of, sort of problem so yeah okay so that's all for this tutorial and in the next one I'm gonna show you how to add images to your application and finally just to finish it off and uh, yeah so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching